though, it looks like the big brains over at Bethesda couldn't resist putting out another update. But I'm sure this has nothing to do with the new Fallout TV show. No, that would be crazy. Oh well, doesn't matter now, does it? If you're watching this video, then it likely means your game was updated, either intentionally or not. Despite all the doom and gloom, I do have some good news. Since making the last video, over 200 people joined my Discord server. Over the past two weeks, I learned more about the update and the issues all of you were having. Since we last talked, there have been a few notable additions to the downgrading scene, helped along by creators like Zerata, Karkst, Nukem, and Ungeziefi. These tools, while simple, have proven to be invaluable to some people, most notably the ones who had issues with my method, mostly due to a lack of knowledge that I mean to rectify in this video. But what do I mean by that? If you were able to follow my directions and received no errors, then you are probably confused right now. One thing I did not know about the depot method was that the codes I listed in the last video only worked for the English language, and furthermore, only worked for those who had purchased the entire DLC, excluding the HD texture pack. And what's more, several people pointed out to me that the so-called optional removal of the new creations wasn't as optional as I had originally stated. Until the release of Backported Archive 2 support system, the new creations were causing crashes thanks to the new way Bethesda made archives. I have been assisting people the best I can, but I do not have a large amount of free time these days, and the video I released two weeks ago is wildly outdated. So, without any further ado, let's get into the actual tutorial. To start off, I should state that this video has been tailored to those who purchased Fallout 4 on Steam, have all the DLC, and do not use the HD Texture Pack. You can still follow along if you are using something different, but know that things might look different on your end. Before we even begin, I want to go over a few things. For the best results, you should ideally clear out your Fallout 4 game folder before doing anything substantial. This will prevent anything unexpected from happening. To do so, go to Steam and right-click Fallout 4, then go to Manage and Browse Local Files. This will bring you straight to the game's directory. Now, head back to Steam and uninstall the game. If nothing is installed, then you have a clean folder. If there are remnants, it's best to delete them. Afterwards, re-download the game and optionally use Steam's backup feature to create a local installer for future use. This is very helpful if you intend on doing a lot of modification. To some of you, I know this might seem extreme, even frustrating. I will still help you if you do not do this, but I might not foresee the problem if there is user error involved. After everything has been returned to a clean state and the appropriate backups made, we can jump straight into the first method. I will not be going over the depots again, but you will be happy to know that the method still works, and if you have the appropriate patience and the requirements, you can restore the game back to 1.10.163. If you do not have all the DLCs, or if you play on a language other than English, then the second method might be more useful to you. We're going to be using Simple Fallout 4 Downgrader, a mod created by Karkst, Nukem, and Ungeziefi. This tool is very simple indeed. To use it, first head to the Nexus mod page and go to the Files tab. Click the manual download on the first file and download it anywhere on your computer. Once it has been downloaded, navigate to the file and open the archive. We are going to be placing all the files into the Fallout 4 directory. Once that is finished, double-click the file named fo4downgrader.exe. It will do everything automatically, leaving you with a restored game. Afterwards, make sure you install Fallout 4 Script Extender, Address Library and Backported Archive 2 Support System. If for whatever reason the simple downgrader does not work for you, there is a third option. Zerata's downgrader boasts to be able to restore your game back to the pre-next-gen update through use of a third-party program. 
To use this downgrade method, go to the Nexus page and download the archive. Unlike the previous mod, this can be extracted anywhere, though for best results I recommend extracting it to a root directory. When all is done, you are left with four options. You can have it automatically download the depots, have it patch files, have it patch files and install plugins, or have the program downgrade creation key it only. According to the description, you should not let the program install the plugins if you are using Mod Organizer 2. To use the depot method, you will also need to sign in using your Steam account. For this video, I am going to be using the depot method, and I chose for the program to delete the added creations since I generally dislike having them in-game. Since we are replacing all game files, this method will naturally take quite a bit of time. Think of it as an automatic version of the first method I suggested. I used editing to speed up the process, but in actuality it took me around 15 minutes for the process to finish. As this does the work, we can talk about programs like Vortex and Mod Organizer 2. People in my Discord have reported Vortex requiring full reinstallations of mods following a downgrade thanks to the method Vortex uses to install mods. Unfortunately, I have not found a fix for this other than to fully switch to MO2. If you are using the latter, you do not need to do anything other than reinstall Fallout 4 Script Extender, ENB, or anything else you might have installed to the root directory. Congratulations! If you made it this far, one of the methods must have appealed to you, and you are now back on the most compatible version of the game. If you require further assistance, my Discord is open and we have dozens of people with experience in modding who might be able to help. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I also have a Ko-Fi if you are feeling especially generous. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant day.